I hope you guys are doing well. So today we'll be looking at two ways on how to render an animation and how um, in what scenarios you should use which. So the first one is to render an animation directly like a direct video and this one should be only used when you know that everything is working perfectly fine and you're not going to edit it like compositing is different but any sort of editing you're not going to edit it or uh, you know a minimalistic level of editing and also that your system can handle it like you know it's not going to crash or anything so I have this um, small animation if you want to learn how uh, then visit my channel on how to create this so um, the first method is to uh, open the output tab and on the output settings click on this folder I'm going to uh, set it to desktop you can set it to any other file place you want and I'm just going to select this folder and you know uh, give it a random name or something and then uh, change this uh, PNG to FMPEG and remember that this should be only used when you know that your system won't crash you know that it will last longer or else uh, for example if it has rendered like 50% up to 60 frames over here then it will just uh, and your system crashes then this means all of your progress will be lost so this should be only done when you know your system can handle it so change it to FFmpeg select encoding change your key to uh, mpeg4 change this uh, also to mpeg4 Video quality to uh, constant bitrate is the best quality over here, but lossless can also work. But if you have an animation shader, then constant bitrate is best. So I have used animation shader in this one, so I'm going to use constant bitrate. And uh, encoding speed, this is, you can change this and mix with other settings if you want to. And then finally, click render and render animation. So this, and then you'll actually get your animation if you know from whatever camera angle you have. So this is the first method when you know that your system can take it, okay? But what if you, if you know that your system can't handle it? Like if there are like three to four particle systems in it and or maybe a, a fluid simulation or some sort of thing that is too much for your system. So the way to do that is, well, obviously, uh, the way to do that is that you're going to first uh, create the individual frames and then you're going to uh, merge them together. This way your system won't have that much load on it and also uh, you can if for example some part of the animation isn't working properly so you can easily say take those five to six frames that where it isn't working properly and just edit them instead of the entire video rendering or whatever you know so the first thing you have to do to uh, do that is you know, uh, change uh, the uh, change the ffmpeg back to png okay all the other settings all disappear and we already have it into a uh, you know wherever we want it to uh, wherever we want to it to store the frames so after when you done, have done that just uh, click on render render animation when you when this it's done rendering the best part is for example even if your system does crash like it's for example it comes to a frame 80 and then crashes then you still have we will still have these previous 79 frames and then you can just next time when you're going to render it you can just continue from frame 80 and onward like this so it won't be uh, so basically you're not using any from quality over here so once you're done you'll have frames like this and mission frames like this on this so to combine this first click on this plus sign over here above and then video editing and select video editing this is the default setting for the video editing now uh, those are 100 frames and my timeline is 120 so change it i'll change it to 100 frames okay and then click on add image and image slash sequence so i'm going to navigate to desktop where i have placed all those uh, frames and this was the folder so i'll click on uh, this first frame and then move all the way down and then shift to click on the last frame so now all of the frames are selected and then i'm going to click on add image strip so now blender has added an image strip and let me just play it for you so obviously they are still not rendered and it's just showing us our preview so the next step is not again we're going to repeat this step from the first one so now we're going to again change this from png to ffmpeg change encoding to from well, whatever this is to mpeg4 Output quality uh, constant bitrate because I have used animation shader in this one and video code according to again MPEG 4 too. And you can change a lot of the settings if you want to, but I don't. Uh, and you can also add an audio uh, from the same setting. You can actually add in more audio tracks, movie sound, etc. if you want. And then when you hit render, render animation, then you'll get uh, an animation like this. So I hope you guys learned something today. Please leave a like, share with a friend, comment, subscribe to the channel. 
see you next time goodbye